Okay, so we're, go we're going to uh, measure the oxidation or antioxidation level of different beverages that I'm sure many of you are currently drinking. We're going to use 7-Up, Gatorade, two brands of bottled water, tap water, and Alkangan water. And what we use to measure that is what we call an ORP meter. And this meter will show us the measurement in millivolts. So anything that measures as a positive millivolt reading means that it is oxidizing, which is causing damage, which is aging, aging you internally. Anything that measures a negative millivolt reading means that it is an antioxidant. And you're going to see how it is that our Kangen water uh, is a natural antioxidant water. So, for example, here we have uh, our ORP meter right now. We're going to turn it on. We're going to put it in the 7-Up, and you can see that that measures a positive millivolt reading of about 288 and rising. We put that in Gatorade, and you can see, see again that it is a positive 277 and going up. We put it in bottled water, and it's at 285 and going up. The other bottled water, 264 and going up. We put it in tap water. It's about 255. Now we put in Kangen water, and you can see that it became a negative number. In fact, negative 340. Okay, so again, our Kangen water is a natural antioxidant water, natural anti-aging water, something that you want to make sure that you're drinking every single day. Another very important property of Kangen water is its alkalinity. Remember, when we talked about how disease cannot live in an alkalized body, and when your body is acidic, it will thrive. So what, what we want to really emphasize is for you to be looking at what you're doing to neutralize the acidity, the acidity that's happening inside of our bodies that's constantly damaging healthy cells and compromising our health. So once you see the level of acidity or alkalinity of these different beverages, you you are going to truly appreciate why it is that you want to be drinking Kangen water every single day. So what we have here again that we're measuring the uh, level of acidity or alkalinity is the 7-Up. We have Gatorade, two brands of bottled water, tap water, and our Kangen water. And what, we, what we're going to use is a standard pH tester, and we're going to put these drops into each of these liquids. And what we're looking to do is actually measure or compare to uh, certain colors. Now this is a color chart and we're looking at this part of the chart right up here where green is neutral anything this way of the green is what we call acidic this is what you want to avoid because our bodies are already very acidic and that's why we're uh, compromising our health what we want to do is stay over here on the alkaline side and and of course optimally over on on this end so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go drop I'm going to put several of these drops in each of these liquids and they will begin to turn colors so let's start with this 7-Up. I'm just going to put like three or four drops into each of these. And uh, you'll see them. You'll see the liquid start to turn colors. And into the bottled water, into the tap water, and into our Kangen water. Okay. And we can see, looking at our 7-Up, you can see that this beverage is very acidic. And that applies to whether you're drinking 7-Up or Sprite or Colas or Root Beer, Dr. Pepper, any of those. Here's the Gatorade. Again, a very acidic beverage. And how many people do you know that are drinking these on a regular basis and don't even realize how acidic it is? And worse yet, how many people do you know that are giving it to children? And they, that needs to stop. Okay, here's the uh, bottled water. As you can see, again, very acidic. Here's the other brand of bottled water, and we just use Dasani and Aquafina uh, as two of the brands because they are Pepsi-Cola and Coca-Cola uh, products, which makes them two of the top-selling bottled waters. Understand that this is pretty much how uh, a lot of the bottled waters uh, will test. 
And here's our uh, tap water. You can see that it's a little bit on the alkaline side. And most municipal waters will usually be anywhere from uh, slightly acidic to slightly alkaline because they are mandated to actually actualize, to actually alkalize the uh, municipal water in order to preserve the pipes because the acidity will actually ruin the pipes. And here's our Kangen water and you can see that this is the optimum level of alkalinity that you want to be drinking as is the uh, uh, Kangen water, right? Okay. Now here's a very important thing that I really want people to see and uh, I, I realize that um, if you've never seen this demonstration, you don't really uh, get the impact until you catch a visual of it in the way that I'm going to show you right now. Now, we have our tap water. You can see that it's slightly blue. When you're drinking Kangen water, you can start to really affect the level of alkalinity of your body. Here's our bottled water. Watch what happens when I pour Kangen water. See that? Here's the other bottled water. We pour the Kangen water. So imagine that now you, you're, you, all of the acidity that's inside of your body, the, the uh, accumulated acidic waste, all of a sudden being alkalized or being flushed out. Now here's a very important thing to pay close attention to. Watch what happens to Gatorade and to 7-Up. You can see that the Gatorade is still acidic. That is the high level of acidity of this beverage. And the same thing with the 7-Up. You can see that it is highly acidic. Literally, these two be beverages, they are so acidic that you would need for the Gatorade about 24 glasses of alkaline water to neutralize one glass of this beverage. And with the 7-Up, literally, you're going to need 32 glasses of alkaline water to neutralize one glass of 7-Up. That's how acidic these beverages are. Now, if this part of the demonstration hasn't gotten enough of your attention, let me show you how very, very acidic these beverages are. This is already diluted 7-Up. And what I'm going to do is pick up right here where we have alkalized this liquid and just pour a little bit of that and you can see that again we are making these acidic with just a, literally a sip of this very acidic beverage. Now seeing this demonstration is going to emphasize to you the necessity to get off of these kinds of beverages and stop putting them into our bodies and into the bodies of our family and, our, and especially our children and get back over here, alkalize your body because remember disease and illness cannot live in an alkalized environment and it will thrive when your body is acidic. Drink Kangen water every day. Okay, now what we want to test for is the chlorine. And again, this is really important because people need to understand what they're putting into their bodies. And sometimes when you don't get uh, a demonstration that gives you the visual of what this demonstration is going to give you, we don't really know what we're putting into our bodies. What I'm going to do is I'm going to test for chlorine in Kangen water and the, your tap water. So I'm just going to pour a little bit of tap water in here and some Kangen water in here. And then what I want to do is I'm going to use a chlorine tester, a standard chlorine tester, and we're, gonna, we're looking to match up some colors right here. So when I put the drops into the water, the waters will turn uh, different colors, uh, uh, different shades of yellow based on how much chlorine is in the water. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put a, a few drops into the tap water first here and then into the Kangen water on this side and then just give it a, a little stir here and then a little stir here and you can see what's happening to the water with the, uh, the tap water that it's starting to turn yellow as opposed to the Kangen water where it is not turning colors at all. So right now 
the uh, tap water is showing uh, chlorine content. And what I'm going to do uh, is give you a quick demonstration, uh, again, something that's going to open your eyes as to what we're really doing, because I know a lot of people buy fruits and vegetables, and then what do we do? We go home and we wash it with our tap water. Now right here you can see that that tap water has already shown some chlorine content. And when we take fruits and vegetables and we wash it with tap water, here's what we're really doing. I'm just going to put some of this, the uh, chopped onions into this water. Again, stir it up just a little bit. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that water where I put the onions, put it in here. And now you can see that that water that was yellow showing the chlorine content is now clear. What does that demonstrate? It demonstrates that in the process of washing our fruit or vegetable, we've basically caused that fruit or vegetable to absorb the chlorine right out of the water. And so what are we going to now do with the onions or the strawberries or the grapes or whatever it might be that we're washing? We're going to go and now and serve it to our family. And here it is full of chlorine because basically what we've done is instead of washing the onions, we have literally washed the water of its chlorine and now serving the chlorine to our family. That doesn't make sense. Again, this is exactly why you want to make sure that you're serving Kangen water to your family.